boom, put that in a whipped cream can and call it Shirley. I don't know why. Whipped cream. I've never made whipped cream before. I've only had whipped cream out of the bottle. It's gonna be a lot of guesswork today. Ooh. Dang, I should have Googled this before I came in. I'm just gonna pour in a few units of cream. We're just gonna wing it. <gasps> oh no. Oh, this isn't a bowl. So I think you put this in here. Powdered stuff. I don't know what this is. What's this? Is this flour? Maybe baking soda. I'm sure there's an appropriate amount. I don't know what that amount is. So let's put. I'm not a lady from the Victorian era, so I will use a handheld mixer. <laughs> I don't know what these are. See, that's not good. Aha! Oh! <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh, this is this is happening. It's bubbling. Ooh, yeah! This is so cool! I think it's working. <laughs> Ta-da! And then just shake it until we have whipped cream. I don't know how long this will take. <laughs> now you probably just have to like freeze it and it's good. Yeah, it looks interesting. I'm gonna make whipped cream. I'm gonna make some homemade whipped cream. All right, so if we're gonna do whipped cream, I need a bowl. We're starting with a bowl straight out from the freezer because the colder things are, the faster they whip. You take your heavy cream. If you get pasteurized milk, it will whip easier and faster. Pour the heavy cream in. I'm gonna do a little powdered sugar because that is going to break up a little easier than like a granulated. I prefer granulated because confectioner sugar has cornstarch in it and I don't like how that tastes. So for whisking, you wanna get a lot of air in there, which is why you have this contraption. I would normally do it this way for approximately ever. It's basically just a back and forth agitation. I'm sweating. If I did this every day, I would never have to do any sort of arm exercises. This is new goals. I'm one of those people with weak upper body strength, so I'm going to use the hand mixer. You want to start on low so that it doesn't get all over you. And it's going to keep going so it gets a nice thick consistency. When it starts to look like this, we're getting close. You know, you can kind of see the ripples from the beaters. I know when it's done because it'll have stiff peaks, almost like a meringue. Okay, be careful though, because you go too long, you might make butter. Success. That's done. That's whipped cream. Whipped cream. Yeah. That's great. All right, so y'all can just turn off the camera while I stick my face in this bowl. Yeah. Now we're gonna make some whipped cream. So what I'm gonna do is this. I have my whisk, I have my nice cold bowl, and some nice cold heavy cream. I'm gonna put a fair amount in about a cup and then we're gonna add some sugar. And this is key. There's two different types of sugar people tend to put in whipped cream. What I like to use is just plain granulated sugar, okay? I don't like to use confectioners or 10X sugar. They generally put cornstarch in this and I feel like it makes my whipped cream a little grainy. So I'm gonna add just enough sugar to kind of sweeten up the cream. And the reason that I add it now is because if we add it later, my whipped cream's gonna be grainy. And then we're gonna get our whisk and start whipping, and this takes a little while. And when we whisk, we use our wrist. So you can see when I was stirring, it wasn't making a lot of bubbles, but right now, I'm whisking, and it's making a ton of bubbles. Give yourself a little stability by holding onto the bowl. So you can start to see that it's getting thick now. And we wanna whip this to soft peaks, right? I don't wanna go too far with it, because if I go too far with it, eventually it'll turn into sweet butter. Getting nice and fluffy, we're almost there. Right where I want to stop is that it forms kind of really soft velvety peaks on the top of my whisk. And that's how whipped cream. Okay, I'm done now, right? 